Hey, I'm Phil Popham. I'm the music director and the co-founder of Helix Collective. And we want to bring high octane energy back into classical music. And we use the trendy music of today and the composers of today, the voices of today, to make all of that happen for a great experience for everybody. You know how it started was that we were all a bunch of freelancers and we were playing in all these different orchestras that were gathered up and we realized that it was the same eight people that were playing all of the gigs together, even though we were in different towns and with different orchestras. So eventually we said, hey, why don't we, you know, why don't we just make our own group out of this? And so it started very classically. You know, we would just do typical classical concerts of the repertoire that was out there. And then we started to think to be much more socially relevant, much more exciting, much more entertaining. And music should be that, especially classical music should be that. And we didn't see it happening, so we decided to do it ourselves. So it's going to be really fast. I'll just do it in two, even though the click is in four. And so it's going to be just a one, two, one, two, three, four. My name is Sarah Robinson. I'm a co-founder of Helix Collective. I'm the flutist for Helix Collective, so I'm both a co-founder and the flutist for the ensembles. And one of the things that's so fun about Helix Collective is that we are often the first place that someone has ever seen a classical concert. So sometimes that's kids, sometimes that's adults. They'll come up to me and they'll, you know, have lots of questions. It's just, it's really fun to be able to pass on the love of that in, in a new way with a new generation. There's so many people with a connection to the instrument, so it's fun to be able to reignite that for people or, you know, for the first time for kids. Woo! Lizzo is amazing. <laughs> and what is so cool about Lizzo is she had the same musical training as I did. She went to a music school. She learned all that stuff. And at the same time, she had her own music. She had her own self-expression. Uh, you know, people cheer. And this is what we've been saying for years. Like, these instruments, this skill on this instrument can be exciting. You can have a stadium full of screaming people for, you know, your flute solo. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing and I saw the Saturday Night Live with Lizzo and she had an orchestra and the character has to twerk in order to play the flute and so you know the orchestra that's all stiff is like okay we can do it. To some degree that feels like what we've been doing for the last 10 years because we've been playing in dive bars and we've been playing with clubs and we've been playing with uh, drum set and people and electronics and people are, are like film music and Classical music looks down on all this stuff. It's not formal enough. You're not being serious enough. Um, <laughs> and so it's, it's nice to see this cultural phenomenon showing like, yes, you can blend pop music and hip hop and classical. And it's just, we live in the world today. We're classical players. We have a certain training, which means I'm great at the flute. I can play almost anything you give me. That doesn't mean it has to be Mozart. Like it can sound cool. So that's why we're, that's what we're doing with our instruments. It is very important for us to keep our concerts accessible, partially because we know what we're doing is a little bit outside of the box. If you're a stone-cold classical person, this is going to push you a little bit. And if, you're, if you like popular music and hip-hop, this is going to push you in the other direction a little bit. And we want everybody to feel welcome. We want everyone to have access to it because of that and because we want to be a voice for the community that is, and you know, honestly, communities are having less and less expendable income, but the need for the art is just as great, if not greater, as it was before. So it's very important for us to keep the cost as low as possible. The OGP grant from the County of Los Angeles has been incredibly important to us. One thing that this grant does is this supports general operating funds, which is a very rare. We're really thankful that we have uh, this support from the county. Uh, it, it makes such a difference. It's not an accident that there's so much going on culturally around LA, that there's so much to do, that you can go to an art gallery, you can go to a concert. That's, that's, that doesn't just happen. That's because there's this support uh, from, you know, from government grants like this. That's, it, that's, why this that's why people want to live in this city. One of the big reasons is how much is going on with the arts here. So yeah, that's, that's the engine underneath that keeps this going. Thank you.